Hello and welcome to Bob and Bob's Game Night. This is definitely the first time we're recording this, not the second time because I forgot to hit record. And we're gonna play some Wheel of Fortune. I'm <laughs> joined today <laughs> by, by one of my favorite people and also Robbie. Robbie, introduce yourself. Yes, hello, it is me, but it is the first time we're recording this. Because oh, well, you didn't oh, record yeah. it last time. That's true. <laughs> Which is a shame, because that was a really good episode. <laughs> it was great. It was really good. We have a great guest today. We're playing Wheel of Fortune. You know how it works. I'm uh, I'm very delighted to be joined by our, it turns out, incredibly funny guest with great stories that you'll never hear. Uh, our guest today is the wonderful Chief Marmoset. How are you? I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. You and me both, yeah. buddy. We had a beautiful recording. Well, not recording. We had a beautiful time together. We had a, we had a nice chat. Lost we'll to never history. Be seen no. In the rest of the world. That I'm was going to be the one. That was I'm... the best episode of Game Night that ever was. Um... I finally, I finally stopped crying from laughter. Yes. You want to spin, Robbie? I want to spin the wheel. Okay. Uh, I... So, as we record of this episode, uh, I'm going to sound really angry oh why is that because uh i i, I want to act like um like uh like i do like a shift like that i clock in and out of and i've been asked to work overtime right so i'm gonna be like i'm gonna play the character of like a really frustrated worker okay good um <laughs> that's a lot is there a union have you unionized yet uh, I you know what i'm the only person that works for bobcats so, and well, i don't get paid Union, it's true. Oh, yeah, I suppose we could just right? form a union of R R me. Robbie, if it makes you feel any better, I don't get paid either. That's true, um, but that's because of uh, you know, that's I'm I'm taking all the money out of your bank account. Um, can I get an S, please? It's really difficult, is it? Oh no, I don't want to. I changed my mind. I don't want an S anymore. Well, it's a little late oh. for that, and also there were two of them. Well, that's good, isn't it? Um, can I spin the wheel again, please? Over the course of this show, uh, we like to ask our guests uh, a series of questions. We have some. Uh, we have nine questions here, which I have in front of me, which we tend to ask to each guest. However, due to the fact that I've already asked some, we're going to skip over a couple, so you may not hear some hot takes today. <laughs> uh, can I get a tea, please? Um, so instead... Uh, I'm going to ask a, a real thinker to start the show off, Ooh. which is this. Um, if you could ask any question, any question at all, and get an answer, a true, correct answer, any question about anything, what what question are you asking? Oh, that is a big thinker. It's a I real probably, thinker. There's nice two schools two of thought of with this one. There's a school of thought where you ask the most important question, but... You know the meaning of life or something that solves all the mysteries that the planet has to offer mm -hmm. uh or you ask something incredibly inane so that it's like the whole blue pill red pill thing but you know so you yeah could, you could you could ask something that what? reveals a lot of information and changes the world or you could just to avoid that from happening because you don't you like the world as it is i'd probably ask something inane so that I don't end up with any mind-shattering information. Right, so like, what's for dinner? <laughs> I ask this cosmic being that knows everything. It's going to tell me everything if I ask it, uh, what's for dinner. Yeah, I, I I think I'm in agreement with you about that. I don't, I don't want to find out, like, the meaning of life or uh, what happens when we die or something like that. A pair of That's too much information. Dinner. But also, also, it could be very the opposite of comforting. Yeah, it could be not comforting at all, actually. <laughs> yeah, and then you'll live the rest of your life in fear. Exactly. Yes, sir, and, but then, then you do the research that makes people live forever. Yeah, I guess. I'd ask if the guy from the earlier story... Uh, but that's a joke for people listening to. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't ask, we, we... You know what, let's just, let's just bleep that out. Uh, uh, Marmoset, you're breaking the fourth wall here. <laughs> Um, 
I like the amount of effort you put in to try and find a letter in the first word from the second word. Well, I, yeah, I, I, there have to be vowels in it. So, and the, the problem is I know it can't be art. Because we, we've already had an R and a T. Bad. Try D. <laughs> Could, yeah, try D. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> We're like O for it? 4 <laughs> on D. Uh, Alright, this is your uh, this is your chance to get out in front and uh, take a win. So you're up, Marmoset. Way, uh, spin, please. Alright. I will say, I have a question, Bobcat. Yes. Does my win from last ep from the epi lost episode count? Oh. 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 Um, oh that's, a that's a tough one. Have you got GeForce now? Because you Buy, can like, spin, or song, go ask one. it to back record stuff. You can, but not an hour. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> I think it's like a five minute thing or something We're like that. Listen, listen. The last episode, we can all agree, was going to be fire. But let's make some new magic by spinning the wheel. Watch me solve this puzzle. Way. Good segue. <laughs> <laughs> um, Have you heard the story about the guy who invented the segue? How he died? Please tell me a segueing accident. Uh, it is a segueing accident. <laughs> <laughs> I know this he, one actually. <laughs> he took some shareholders to the top of a cliff uh, and wanted to show the braking power of the segue. Uh, <laughs> so he gets on. He gets on his segue, uh, max speed, barreling towards the cliff cliff edge. Uh, breaks. It's not enough braking power, falls off the cliff face and dies. And Come on, man. Thing. Segway Come down. on. It's like an American businessman showing how strong the windows were in his office. Did so by running directly into the window, going through and falling a couple of hundred meters or whatever it was to his death. What letter would you like, Ravi? I think I've got it. Can I get an L? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it, that, that's a real like cyber truck moment. You remember where uh, where Elon Musk threw the uh, the ball bearing at the window to prove yes. it was bulletproof, and it and it uh, shattered. Uh, but in fairness, in fair and, and you won't hear me say this sentence much. In fairness to Elon, it did better than a lot of windows would. Well, that's true. Yeah, it, that, the thing is, that's one of those things. It's not quite as bad as uh, in all fairness to Ben Shapiro. But it's pretty yeah, bad. In fairness to Ben Shapiro, in fairness that was, to... That, that was one of those sentences. Um, one, of my, one of my friends began a sentence with, in fairness to Ben Shapiro, and everyone in the conversation said, nope, like immediately at the exact that. same time. <laughs> They're just like, we are having none of that. You know, it no, might have been something about his singing ability, if you've seen his cover of uh, Cardi B's What? It's been solver by yes. now. That's all, please. Okay. I... Have you seen the one that's like um, somebody's edited over the sound of um, uh, TikTok by Kesha, um, and uh, he's like, he's like, the only way I can answer this question is through song, and then TikTok starts. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Um, law professor. Oh. Which I don't have because I study a Diddy subject. Um. But my university is well known for having good law schools. What's funny? Not good music school. Fantastic. What's funny is the university I went to my first year was a, um, it was a Christian That's university run by the, the group that Let's I was brought up in, and uh, they were well known for their law school. However, in the biology class, they had to have a disclaimer about evolution. That's <laughs> the kind of dichotomy that this school had. <laughs> they had to have a sticker in the book like, "Ooh, it's well." <laughs> Yeah, that's not great. I will say. No, my university is um is one of the oldest universities in the world, and it is the least reputable university to have been founded before fifteen hundred, like literally. So we did it all right. Although our campus is said to have been Hitler's favorite place in Scotland. Well, that's something. Put that on the brochure. In the UK, even in the UK. Hitler's favorite place in the world. Wow. Lucky guy. Yeah. See, that's the thing is most colleges try to push their diversity angle in the commercial, but you guys have yeah. that. 
Oh, well, I mean, we've got diversity too, allegedly, but I mean... All the promotional I... material. Hitler's yeah. favorite. Yeah, <laughs> welcome yeah. to Hitler's favorite campus. We had diversity. It was loved by Hitler and Goering. Yeah, Goering liked it. Um, Who's the Himmler? one that crashed his plane in Scotland to try and negotiate a peace deal and we just arrested him? Well, he claimed he was here for a peace deal. Oh! Yes, I know what you're talking I about. I can't remember his name, oh, but yeah. It was some... Baron something or other? I Trump. legit can't remember. I'll look at him. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just, I just got the visual of Baron Trump. He <laughs> <laughs> got plane straight into the Marshall College in Aberdeen. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh. Scottish Nazi plane crash. <laughs> Um, Scottish Nazi Blink. Rudolf Hess. Yes! Rudolf Hess. Rudolf Hess. Good Will on we him. ever know why Nazi leader Rudolf Hess flew to Scotland in the May of 1941? From the we Smithsonian may never. I, I thought it was something like he uh, he was going to negotiate a peace deal or something like that, or yeah, like just take it on claims. himself. Yeah. That's what he claims, yeah. Oh, you're I up think... again. Oh yeah, Marmoset, it's you. <laughs> Husband and wife. What is the category? Uh, spin, please. I guess it's a husband and a wife. Yeah. That one's actually one of the more straightforward ones. JZ and Bioncha. <laughs> um, that's the problem I'm having with um with the with Gen Z, right? Because I've I guess we should say Gen Z, but Gen act of defiance I've only ever heard Gen Z. Our American overlords. See, as, as someone who is into classic computers, I always had trouble with the, the ZX Spectrum, or as you guys call it, the ZX Spectrum. Yes. Uh, although, luckily, here it was distributed by Sinclair, so I could just say the Sinclair Spectrum. Ugh. In fact, I think it was distributed by um, Casio at one point. Either Casio or Timex. One or the uh, other. <laughs> can, can I have... Can you... Uh, B, please. <laughs> Oh, you've okay. You've given I up realized, on your through line. I realized that the um the way I had worded that, I could not re recover it. So <laughs> could I? Could I? Could I be? You know what? You made up for it though by having two of them on the board. Oh, yeah, that's good. Now you've got uh, a B, B at least. Wait, did God, they put the last name twice up there? Yes. Well, maybe they didn't. Maybe it's just a a, a moment of beauty. Well, could you spin again? Similar names. All right. I will not be satisfied with eight hundred of your freedom pounds. Freedom pounds. <laughs> oh well, then here's another eight hundred of them. Uh, D, please. But you must answer me these oh. riddles three. Oh, oh no. you're kidding. The letter D, not very common. No, although it's a better bet for names. R, S, T, L, N, and E kind of go out the window when you deal with names. A lot of people think that S is the most commonly recurring letter on what the board, Rick but it's L actually R. Stein. What? Yeah. The, all those letters are in Rick Elstein, the Goosebumps author. I think that's yeah. his name. Yep, yeah, R, R, R. Stein. Stein is what they tell you to do. Yep. Because um, It's what they tell you to do, what? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Genuinely, they go like the letters in R.L. Stein are your best show. Well, because oh, the, the, the way it used to work is for the final. So for the final round, you used to be able to pick. Um, I believe it was five consonants and three vowels. But then they just started giving you R, S, T, L, N, and E for free, and then you choose three consonants and one vowel, or however many that adds up to. I think it's seven consonants <laughs> and three vowels. Anyway, the spin the wheel. Catchphrase. Yes. Yes, I do like catchphrase. It's, 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 a, it's a good... I can't remember where that train of thought came from, but it was something you said earlier. Something about R.L. About... Stein? <laughs> um, say... I liked it when it was that Irish dude hosting. That was when it was at its best. I have not watched Catchphrase in a long time. <laughs> uh, uh, R, please. Okay. Uh, um, all right, let's ask it. Let's, let's, let's ask another question because mm -hmm. uh, I'm not I'm not out of them just yet. <laughs> um, this uh, is one of my favorites. Uh, you get to experience any moment in history. Oh my! What's it gonna be? Now we always give you the caveat, which uh, we were talking about in the very first episode, which is it doesn't have to be human history. It can be your own personal history. 
if you want to relive something, yeah. see if you remember something correctly, or uh, if you fell up the stairs at your uh, uh, high school awards ceremony, spin the wheel. Sp sp spin it, let's move on past me falling over. Fantastic. <laughs> that's that's a big question. I'm a big history guy. So oh, really? Of, uh, yeah, I, I like history a lot. And there's a lot of um, moments in history that I'd probably like to relive. Uh, it's not probably? the same last name. No, yeah, I, I was noticing that with the R. Oh, uh, probably the Warsaw Uprising in 1944. That's uh, a great answer. It's one of my favorite moments in history. I think it's wonderful. I agree. Um, can I get an L, please? I think. Um, I think the thing about like. The thing about like historical moments uh, is that like I something about it kind of like worries me about going back and then like what if you see something that like you have to go back and be like turns out we were wrong we got something entirely wrong I got to go back and like be a history book writer now and change everything. <laughs> Or uh, what's that other? The time they threw that man out a window in Germany, and then half the population of Germany died. Wasn't that Austria? Austria, was it Austria? Wait, def the I first can't defenestration. Because I, I was thinking it was either Austria or the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia. Can I, can I get a C? Please? Yeah, Czech Republic. It was Prague. I was going to say Prague. Why did I say Prague? <laughs> uh, we all wish man. we could say Prague. You guys are not getting this one. Um, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bocal. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because I don't. By the way, I don't know who Lauren Bocal is or how to pronounce her name, but I just remember looking at a Wikipedia page for Humphrey Bogart <laughs> and seeing this. Does anyone know who Lauren Bocal is or Bacal or Bacal? It might be Bacal. Thought she was also a uh, an actor. I might be wrong she, about that. Yeah, you're probably right. I think it's actually Bacal, not Bocal. Bacal. Yeah. Bacal? I think it's Lauren Bacal, Bacal is the way it's pronounced. Bacal? Yeah. I have vague how memories many, of hearing how her pronounced. How many wrong pronunciations have I thrown in? I have no idea. Um, I, I, like, I seem to remember Bacal. something it, involving... Is it Bacal or Bocal? It's, it's Bacal. But isn't it an A? Bacal. It's too late now, anyway. Oh, um... Oh yeah, we were too busy. Well... Okay, four A's as a matter of fact. I get no money for that. Why don't you get any money for that? Oh yeah, because... Uh, vowels aren't worth anything. So I'm gonna solve with $300. Wow! This is a heel move. <laughs> This is Viewers of time. Game Night, I want you to see. I want you to see this. I'm gonna pass. And I want you to. I want you pass. to agree with me. I'm gonna pass. Me. Look he's, at that. He's, 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 take it. He, take he it. Is. Take it. Take the money. No, I can't do that. You, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. It's. 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 Uh, it's your victory. You deserve to. Armaset, choose. Choose a vowel. Uh. Why? That's not a vowel. Well, it's sometimes a vowel. Uh, I. Okay. I know that's not on there. There we go. Hey. All right, you know what to do. My I poor spelling. E. <laughs> there are two H's. Oh, you just gave me more money. You, you know what? Wow! And all this from one letter? Um, consider it, consider it compensation. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, I think what. It was Manny who was saying he would go to like a really cool concert or something. Uh, it was oh. to see uh, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra. Oh. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I would want to just be on a fly on the wall for a whole day in Sinatra's life, just to, just to see, experience this, experience the concert, but then also just like what happens after. <laughs> what if it's a really bad day when he's sick? <laughs> Experience. It's choose the day. It's just like I'm sorry, Frank's Frank's got a cold today. He's staying in bed. <laughs> You're the fly on the wall for him, getting served chicken soup by his concerned wife. 
uh, and struggling <laughs> to get out of bed in the morning and stumbling everyone. to the toilet. The bonus round is I mean, coming how up many people can say that they've, they've seen Layer that? One. <laughs> At least Time I've regained my, my victory. Yeah. So, pick so I'm going to go ahead and Any say card. that my last one just counts as this one. Okay. And I'll take the second thing. Fantastic. Thing. Ugh, not a thing again. I don't know. Ugh, this is Here a nightmare. <laughs> this is just a nightmare. I am living in a nightmare. Now pick three more yeah, how do you, how do you think I felt? Not recording the last one. <laughs> well, you know what? That's... Uh... Okay, uh... Let's get ourselves... Uh... <sighs> Oh, I don't even know anything about what this could be. F. Okay. Ooh. D. Come on. M. Come on. And. Uh oh, A. A. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Eardrum. Not bad. Yeah. Um. Bamba D, D, G, and B are usually safe bets for your for your vowels, and then That's usually either A or O. What have they won, Charlie? I is a pretty good one too. <laughs> so vowels, just not you. Oh, am I gonna have to speak in Congress? Yes. Oh no, you get to say anything you want to to Congress. Oh. Here's your chance to speak Does it have to be in English? It's better if it isn't, probably. I will say. Uh, I'll say. Pediamo echumetiri yamena. Oh. Congratulations, player one. I'm yeah, sure is. One of our I was going to say Spanish, but sure. <laughs> what, you what know my <laughs> ethnicity, Bobcat. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Wheel of Fortune. Bye-bye. Uh, um, Lo siento, pero no hablo español. Oh, that sounded quite English. good, right? Ue, la bibliotheque. <laughs> 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 I don't know, I was too busy changing the volume on my... Oh, that was in the old recording as well. That... Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh... We can't keep dwelling on the past. Say, I believe, and uh, all of the. Do you speak any Japanese from your time in Japan? Like a few words of it, nothing. Because nothing substantial. I think. I think the following is a phrase. <clears throat> Don anata moskida yo. Thank you, Japanese speakers in the comments. Tell me how great that was. Alternately. We could pause uh, for a moment for a message from the chief. Oh no. Большая люстра в вашей квартире может стать значником, если она включается через новый регулятор тока с сенсорным управлением. that message i'm afraid we have to come to a close today uh which is entirely my fault and i apologize for everything <laughs> <laughs> uh, i just have to recover from the trauma of telling the horrific things the tales mm -hmm. i had to tell <laughs>
That's just the I am I am so incredibly gutted that that is lost to time because <laughs> yeah. that was that was genuinely some of the best stuff we've ever had. But it was a delight to have you on, and oh, uh, was, thank you for having me. It was wonderful. We we will have you on some other time, and uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Robbie, you have anything else to say? Um, you're fired. Excellent. And we are looking for new members uh, to audition for the new Blank and Bob's Game Night starting next week here <laughs> on the, still for some reason, on the Automatic Bobcat YouTube channel. Well, I was going to say, your channel has more subscribers than me. It actually might make sense to move it over there. <laughs> yeah, my, ch my channel is exclusively for pretentious art. Oh. You, are you <laughs> suggesting this isn't pretentious art? Are you suggesting um, you talking about harassing my French teacher isn't art? <laughs> and uh, um, the the most important thing is that you go over to www.youtube.com slash Robert Matheson and you watch the new episode of Pathways, which is coming out or has come out on uh, Saturday, the 20th of March, 2021. It's called Interlude and you're going to love it. It's pretty good. I haven't seen it yet, but it's pretty good. What I if I was just lying and that wasn't the thing? Probably, so it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, see you guys later. Take care. See you. Bye, man. Welcome Thanks. back. Oh, uh, it amazing. The... I, blah, 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 blah. I didn't know you were doing that. Sorry, go ahead. I, well, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Start, start again. We're professionals. Leave that in. <laughs> <laughs>